from probably the beginning of human history, people have looked to the sky and wondered, where did it all come from? And uh, the Big Bang Theory actually never says what happens right at the beginning. And in fact, we know that our usual rules of gravity, physics, breaks down as you go back earlier and earlier, and the world of quantum mechanics takes over. The idea of inflation theory is uh, that the universe went from quantum fluctuations to an extraordinarily rapid expansion, and there is an afterglow still coming from it and that is today uh, in the microwaves, the cosmic microwave background. Located in the Atacama Desert, high in the Andes of northern Chile, the Cosmology Large Angular Scale Surveyor, also known as CLASS, is an array of telescopes that we're building here at Johns Hopkins in order to study light from the earliest times or the furthest reaches of the universe. So it's pretty faint, but it's still you know, detectable. And the, the light that we're seeing is a form of electromagnetic radiation. So as such, it has an intensity and a polarization. So what class is trying to do is measure the polarization of the light that's coming in. If indeed inflation happened and gave off gravitational waves, the gravitational waves themselves will create a pinwheel type polarization pattern of the cosmic microwave background. And the brightness of that pattern corresponds precisely to the energy level of inflation, and that's one of its biggest unknowns and can only be determined by an experiment like this. So in addition to the science that we do with class, we invent a lot of technologies here to make this measurement that hasn't been made before. Uh, these span a wide range from cryogenic, electronic, mechanical, optical. And as a result, while we're able to survey over 70% of the sky, and a lot of that overlaps with the Milky Way galaxy and there's a lot of in interference with that. Um, because we are measuring at such different wavelengths and frequencies, um, we're able to kind of filter out that noise and get more precise measurements of the CMB itself. But from day to day, the, the really inspirational moments come from working with the larger team. And undergraduates like Lance make a significant contribution to the project. We depend on them for their innovation and also the energy they bring. We provide the opportunity and the direction and the students, almost without exception, uh, really grow dramatically. And uh, it's, it's really a kind of a training that can lead to all kinds of uh, possible futures. And so receiving the Jerome D. and Tamara T. Schneidman Scholarship uh, has really helped me accomplish a lot of things that I wanted to get out of an undergrad education. Um, being able to participate and make meaningful contributions to a project like class um, really has been one of my dreams and it's crazy that I'm able to do it at so, so young and as, as an underclassman. I think it's important to try to pursue the questions that cosmology presents just because it kind of teaches people that almost anything is possible.